Hi everybody, I'm Bree the Plant Lady. And I'm Aiden. And today we are gonna do a little makeshift cover for the cool season crops that we planted last week. Yes. You see we've got cabbage and we've got some cauliflower and some broccoli planted, all of which are doing well. However, they are starting to get eaten up by yes. the cabbage looper worms which is inevitable. One of the hardest parts about cool season crops in the fall is the insect pressure. And we're still really hot, although today is much better than it's been. We decided that we should go ahead and put up some remay. And that will not only will that help with the caterpillars getting in, but it'll also give them a little bit of shade so that they're not so stressed out uh, with our, with our like, normal September temperatures. So Aiden and I are going to go ahead and get busy. We're going to use the frame that we built, you know, to stake up all those tomatoes that <laughs> immediately died. Uh, but we're going to take advantage of the fact that we've got the infrastructure in place and basically just go ahead and protect all these plants. And we're also going to treat them again with BT. I've been using liquid BT. We're going to do another spray of liquid and then we're going to dust them all and then we're going to cover them. Okay. And I think that's gonna give us a little protection at least for the next couple of days. Okay. All right, so stay tuned to watch our progress. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray everything with liquid BT again. I see cabbage worms literally on the plants. Squish that. And then we're going to go ahead and do another dusting to be redundant. Because I'd really like to be able to harvest from here. Oh, that BT smells terrible. Yes. Well, it's not pretty, but it is something. And when I need to water, I'll be able to just unclip and sort of open it. But speaking of watering, it's starting to rain. Sure is. So we're not gonna get our mulching project done, but I'm glad we got this set up. Something. We got something done. <laughs> All right. Well, everybody, fingers crossed, this is gonna work. Yes. Remember, if you're growing cool season crops in the Brassicaceae family, they are under attack from the cabbage looper worms and you're going to have to employ a bunch of different strategies to effectively keep them off because at this season, like in one day, those worms can completely decimate an entire yes. broccoli plant or cabbage plant. Um, so, you know, keep your eyes peeled for them. They're green. They're really hard to spot. BT is the easiest only organic solution but you have to keep the BT applied. So if you're getting rain or you're irrigating, you're washing the BT off, you have to really keep up with it. And like we're doing this year, we're using both liquid and powder form. Yes. And in hopes that having this remay up will prevent them Help. from having as much access, but really it's also to give it some shade. Yes. The last few days where we were in the upper 90s, these plants we're really suffering. suffering. So, I mean, hopefully we're out of that, but I'm not gonna uh, hold my breath. No. Yeah, it's still early September. And in central North Carolina, we can have unbearable temperatures like well into October. Oh yeah. So hopefully this video will be helpful for you if you're struggling with cool season crops in the fall. BT number one, adding either shade cloth or remay. I really recommend remay because it's more useful as we get into the cold season, this is also called frost cloth. It'll actually help keep your plants insulated. So I bought this instead of shade cloth very purposefully so that we will have it to reuse, you know, when our problem isn't heat, but it's actually cold. Yes. All right, thanks so much for watching everybody and happy gardening. <laughs> and it's like legit raining now, which I was talking smack this morning, like, 
Well, that didn't rain, didn't matter. That didn't count. <laughs> so you're welcome, Central North Carolina. All I had to do was complain. Yep. <laughs> and get ready to do a big mulching project. <laughs>